I wouldn't call it a play, I'd probably call it a project that would involve people coming into a room and then experience a world of fiction that involves different aspects of consciousness that I'm, I found very interesting. My name is Tristan Beckenstein. I'm a researcher at the MRC Cognition Brain Sciences Unit in Cambridge and the Department of Psychology in Cambridge University. And I work on transitions of consciousness, primarily trying to map what's going on in terms of perception, decision-making, action, when someone is completely awake and when they're transitioning into full sleep. So effectively what we're doing is uh, mapping what's happening, what's happening when we do see consciousness at a very fine level. With this performance, we're trying to create the impossible scenario of an audience falling asleep in the auditorium and having a dream in which the rest of the audience members are present. Even though the audience, uh, we're not expecting to actually fall asleep, we hope that there will be a slither of doubt as to whether all that they've experienced during the show actually happened or whether in part they might have imagined some of it. Within a dream you really experience the journey between objectives. As soon as there is an idea of what you might do then suddenly you're in that space doing that thing. Another thing that, that, that interested us was, was the idea that often in dreams you have a, 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 an ongoing purpose so you um, you may find that you're, you're charged with, with a task that you have to perform or that you're expected to perform and so we worked quite a lot with that within the piece so that you, you, you were, something was suggested and then you move towards achieving that goal. The parts of my research that could get into this performance are, are primarily the idea of, of um, the different states of consciousness um, allowing you to perform different things when someone is relaxed or drowsy or unconscious, they're able to do different cognitive processes. And I think that idea of the different states related to the content of awareness, the content of consciousness, it's, it's going to be related to the narrative. We're dealing quite a lot with anxiety within the piece. The show's in pitch black for, for almost an hour, and that in itself, certainly for, for some people, is an incredibly intense environment to, to sit within. We hope that they will occupy this ambiguous territory in between wakefulness and sleepiness. I don't know what the audience is going to be expecting, but I, I hope they will be surprised by the amount of different states they can reach when you experience the fusion between your different states of consciousness and on top of that you have a layer of be embedded in the in fiction, so you can put yourself in the story in the different in different planes, on top of being in different states of consciousness. 